So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can get any end completely free by hosting this thing locally. And I promise you this is super simple. Even if you've never done anything like this before, hosted an app locally on your computer, you're going to be able to do this in a couple of minutes and you're never going to have to pay for any end again. So let's jump in. So first off, we're going to need to download the app called Docker. Now this is free to download and the version I run it on is completely free as well. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you're downloading it for the right version of your laptop. So if you're on a newer Apple Mac, you want to go for silicone. Or if you're on an older one, you're probably going to go for Intel. And then obviously you've got your Linux and Windows versions as well. Then once you've downloaded it, it'll go into your download folder. You'll run the file, open it up. It'll ask you a few questions about getting set up. And you won't have any of this here. So just imagine this is blank. And then you're going to see this section in the corner that says images. So you're going to press images. And then up here, you're going to search N-A-N-I-O slash N-A-N. So we're going to search that. And then this one here that has a hundred million downloads next to it, we're just going to press this pull button. And then once you press pull, it's going to it might take like up to a minute to do this, but it's going to show up here in your images section. Then once it shows up like this, it might it'll be loading for a little bit for you. We're going to press this run button here and we're going to go to these optional settings. Now for the container, we're going to just call it N-A-N container, just like this. Then for your host port, you're just going to put what it says here, which is 5678. Now, don't worry if you don't know what this means. It's basically just where it's going to run on your computer locally. You don't need to understand this to make it work, so just follow me along. Now, for the host path, we need to create a file to put all this NAN data into. So, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go and create a new folder. So the way you would do this on a Mac, I'm not sure how you do it on Windows, just press new folder. And you're going to call it NAN data, just like this file here. Then we are just going to select this file here. So we're going to type... NAN data, I'm going to select that file and we're going to press open. And now for the container path, we're going to put home, we're going to put forward slash home forward slash node forward slash dot N8N. And then for our environment variables, these are optional, so we don't need to put anything for these if we don't want to yet. And then we're just going to press run. And then once we press run, I'm going to cancel that because I've already installed this. We'll press run here like that and it's going to open this screen for us. So it's going to run through the files and then what it's going to do, it's going to give you a little link at the bottom to get access to it. And then it's going to open NAM for us. Now for you, you'll have to sign up and make a separate account because the cloud version of NAM, which is what you've probably used before on the internet, this is different to this version. So you will have to create a separate account and also you will have to import anything that you've made on your cloud account into this account. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So when we press start from scratch here, it's going to open up a new workflow. And then I'm just going to go back to my old NAN account on the cloud. And say we want to use this crypto trading agent I've made. We would literally go to these three dots in the corner. We go to download. It's going to download the JSON file for it. And then we can go back to our local hosted one. So this is the one we're hosting with Docker for completely free. And then we can go back to the three dots, import from file. And then we can see the file that we've just downloaded here. The crypto trading JSON agent. And just like that, we've now got a free version of NAN that runs locally on our Mac. And it's as simple as that. Now, there is some other features where we can go a little bit more in depth. But to, for today, if you just want to use this thing for free, that is all you're going to need, essentially. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more tutorials like this, please comment them and I'll make them for you. So see you guys in the next one.